Okay, here's the 45 watt solar panel kit made by Thunderbolt Solar, which you can purchase at your local Harbor Freight hardware. Right, as you can see, I put the frame together from the Harbor Freight solar kit. As most of you have gotten, I had a coupon that's came in the paper. They do vary within uh, $10 or so. So maybe by the time you see this uh, video, it'll drop even 10 more. But I've seen a very, um, they're as low as $139. But I'm sure maybe by the time this comes out, like I said before, it may even drop more than that. I look at older videos, I think they were a couple hundred dollars. But um, I see now they went to PVC instead of the metal frame. And I'm actually putting this together on the last day of 2012. So by the time I put this video out, it'll be 2013. You get these little wing nuts. So you can take your hand, just tighten these babies tight on each of the corners. This part is pretty simple. Um, I'll see how the rest of it is as I go through the video. I've never done a solar system before, so I'm very new at this. All I know is what I've seen off of YouTube. So bear with me. Note right here where the legs come out. They have the two extra screws that came with it are shorter. They weren't long enough, so I used the longer screws that are used to mount these two. I didn't see anything in the instructions about that, but they do give you the extra ones, you can figure it out. But uh, this may help you so you don't have to go through and try to figure it out like I did. Okay, so you set them through like that and push these through. Sometimes it's a little tight and I had to really kind of force it through there. I thought it was the wrong screws at first, but it did push through after a little bit of forcing. But it's the longer screws that you use. Okay, I've got it all together. It wasn't too bad. Um, there's a couple like uh, screws that were a little tight getting through, but overall it wasn't a bad project so far. All right, well, I'll keep on going and show you this full hookup. All right, here's my four kits I purchased from Harbor Freight, and my wife and I put these up all on our own with no other help. Now I'm going to show you inside the shed that I built all the systems I put inside. I haven't had a chance to tie these and organize them yet, but from the solar panels, these wires all come up, then they go into these, and they combine into this uh, uh, box I bought from Harbor Freight that they just plug into. Then I have them come out into this little terminal here. Now if I get other solar panels, I can tie them into there and tie it all together that way and not using that um, box that I got from Harbor Freight. Now on these wires, they come up and they go around. They come up behind these boxes and they roll in to here. Now when they come in here, here's my positive. It goes through here. And this will tell me uh, what I'm pulling now. My system's full, so uh, it's not monitoring it. The, what's going in now? Then I have a, a breaker here. Then I have fuses here. So that's all coming in. These are coming in. That's my positive. That's my negative. And these are going out to my batteries, which I fuse that up. And that's an off and on switch here. So I hope I'm explaining this well. So these. These wires here, they come in from the solar panels. They come in through here and then they come up into here, um, into the controller. Now, I have this inverter is my backup one, it's not hooked up. But I have this pure sine inverter. That's a thousand uh, watt pure sine inverter. They cost more than, the, than your regular inverters. Um, and then I have this fused up too. Now when that's coming in, I don't know if I went through this, there's an off and on switch here for my solar panels. So they go into the batteries through, through here and then out from the batteries, which I'll go to my batteries and show you on the side. Here's my battery system here. Okay. So all my batteries and my cables and all my connections come into here. And I took these really thick uh, cables and I connected them right there. 
and then I have a tender on there so if I don't have sun for a few days I can keep my batteries up. I got these from uh, Walmart. They're uh, marine batteries and three batteries has been doing me just fine for my lights and charging up the laptop, um, telephones and those type of stuff. So this has actually been a pretty good little system so far just with these three batteries. One thing about three batteries is it's easier to place three than six or twelve. Um, I see a lot of people have stacks of them. At this time, I haven't needed them. Um, these have been holding me all the power I need. And when I go to bed, I just turn the system off. At night. Now the wires come in, then they come back up through here, up behind here, and into my inverter. Like I said, this is a pure sine inverter. The advantage of the pure sine inverter is you can use your laptop, your sensitive electronics, and it will work. The disadvantage is they cost about triple to four times of a regular inverter. So um, that's the problem with them. Other than that, they're really good, but they are expensive. Okay, so here's this plugs in to this plug, and then this cable here, this uh, runs into this box. And there's my wiring in there. Hope you can see it good enough here. Um, with this wiring here, then it goes down here and down to this gray pipe. And through this gray pipe, it goes outside here, which you saw already that goes into the house. Let's see if I can. So it goes in there. Then I have it goes underground and up and through the house. So again, here's my little system that I did all myself. I can't say that it's simple. I know nothing about electricity. For an electrician, it probably is a breeze. But for a regular person with no electrical background, I would give it at least a middle in difficulty. It's not super simple and it's not super hard, but it does take time. Time is the whole thing. It just doesn't come that fast. So unless you're doing electrical work all the time, maybe they could, an electrician, a professional could whip it right out. But I learned a lot from YouTube, watching all the videos and seeing other people's system and kind of came up with my own, read a few books, and you kind of come up with your own thing. But I'm really, really happy with this system. And you don't have to have the most expensive. You should be able to do this under, let's say, $1,500. Um, so this system could cost you as less as $700 and as much as $1,400. It depends where you get your uh, supplies from, a wholesaler or how good you are at finding things. Um, if you go full retail, you're going to pay more. But if you can get something at wholesale or get it free, you'll have a lot uh, less expensive system. That's kind of up on the individual. But um, here's my system. Um, please leave your comments. Like I said, I'm not a professional electrician, but now I am off the grid. If my power goes out, which it goes out here quite a bit, I'm not out of luck. I have enough to uh, get by and survive. And I'll be adding on to the system and doing updates. All right, till now, um, sign off and um, go solar. <laughs>